Hey everybody, it's Sarah from Overlook Valley Homestead. Um, so, we got meat birds yesterday. Um, in the past, I have, I did a video about why we had, were choosing not to do meat birds at that time, which that was last summer. And, um, you know, it just wasn't, as far as money goes, it wasn't cost effective for me to have meat birds. And, you know, there are things that I'm willing to spend more money on um, just for our health. But when I can get an all natural, no steroids or antibiotics chicken for cheaper than I can of buying um, live birds and raising them with the food cost, um, they wouldn't be organic anyway. I can't afford organic food. Um, some a lot of people don't feed their chickens organic um so that was the reason that i had chose not to um i'll try to put a um, card up there about that video but if i i've always said if i could find a way to do it you know at a cost effective way that i would well i did find some cheaper feed um that i didn't know was available so that is one thing um and plus Right now, with everything going on um, in the world, um, I just felt like it was necessary. Actually, the place that I usually get my um, fresh chicken from is out. So, um, we were able to go to uh, Tractor Supply last night, and um, they only had 16, and that's what I got. Now, this will, this is, we need at least 50 to 100 to supplies for a year. Um, but it's a start. I mean, we can do the best that we can do right now. But I am excited. Um, and I did want to show you the brooder. Uh, we did a video last summer about a brooder that uh, Mark had built. Well, he didn't build it. We kind of made it out of something old um, a few years ago. But I did want to share with you now that it's in action how it works. So this is my existing chicken pen right here. And this is an old file cabinet from the school. And we have it hanging up here, um, as you can see. Now, we have a little rope on here. And I did notice that this is pretty thin, so I might want to replace that. And I've got... I just put that up there like that. And that's how it hangs up. And we've got a drop cord ran that way. And so this just just opens up like that. And we did put this little board up here when I first started using it because they were flying out. Um, and they got their water in here and their food. And there they are. Oh, no! All of them made it through the night. Um, they look really healthy and happy. They're, they were I was able to get them. They were only two days old, so... Okay. Uh, some people may not realize that a feather duster is really good to put in a brooder. Because the chicks get under it and it mimics their mom. Makes them comforted. Look at this little booger right here. <gasps> oh, pecking at me. Look at them. They're pecking. Look at it. That's got to be a rooster. <laughs> they look real healthy. Real good though. And then this way they have, I mean, this, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, this will hold many birds. We could add, y'all don't fly out. We could add another light down here if we needed to. That's fine, but I didn't need to right now. Um, and this will hold them, you know, till they get feathered and then we can put them in another location. And, um, this is so handy and it's outside you don't have to worry about the mess in your house it keeps it warm enough in here to um block the wind off and and it really stays warm so um i used to have a thermometer in here but i took it out the last time we used it so i haven't what are you doing no peeping over no 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 <laughs> um but it, to let you know the temperature but if they get too hot they move out of the light. Um, I'm trying to get into the water bowl. 
I can see a few bottoms I'm gonna have to wipe off. So I have to tell you, they have eaten a lot of food just overnight. And this is the first time I've ever had meat birds. I've done dual purpose birds before. Um, I'm surprised at how much food they have eaten. Um, but I did want to show you. See, so I just close this up. And I can leave it open if it's too warm. Or I can close that. Now, because they're so young and um, I'm keeping it closed, it's a little cool right now. Um, the big chickens are going crazy because they can hear all that chirping. And that's just all you do. And it's safe. So if you get a hold of one of these it's and have a place to hang it out of the weather, um, it's really, really handy. So anyway, we got meat birds, and there's our brooder. Um, thought that I would share it again, and um, I'm excited. Um, I'm not excited about killing an animal, obviously, but I'm excited about supplying to ourselves and, and not having to go to the store and get the food. So I mean, no, uh, get the chicken. I mean, you know, so. I've never eaten those kind from homegrown. Of course, I've eaten them from the store. Um, you know, everybody says they're better. And of course, always when you raise something um, to eat, it, it tastes that much better. I mean, that is true fact. You, just like making anything homemade, it's it's better because you've put all that work and love into it and appreciation for where your food comes from. So anyway, thought that I would share, and um, I hope this gives somebody a good idea for a brooder. I mean, you can use just about anything. Uh, I've always done it in the house before Mil Mark built this. You know, I think it was four years ago when he built it. Maybe three, I don't know, I can't remember. But I just got tired of the mess. So, um, this was a good option. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.